Matt Mitchell-Grosso here, creator of Xenoplicity and the Q system that it runs on. Uh, today's video, we're just going to be looking at some of my personal favorite tabletop role-playing games, uh, games that I think that you just can't go wrong with. I think they're they're all great in their own way. Um, then there's a lot of great games out there, guys. But the, you know, some just didn't make this list. But these are these are my top. These are these are the ones that I just really really enjoy and I have loved for years and years um, for different reasons. Uh, at the top of the list uh, would be my own game, uh, which is Xenoplicity, okay? I mean, obviously, I know I'm biased, okay? But uh, this game, I think, just does tabletop role-playing uh, extremely well. It's a lot of fun, and you just can't go wrong with that. Uh, but leaving that aside, okay. let's talk about different genres. If we're talking about science fiction and, and uh, space fantasy, um, that kind of thing, my favorite is Traveler, okay? I extremely enjoy second edition Mongoose. Uh, now this is the, the core book that came out originally, uh, and this game is awesome. A uh, couple, was it a year ago or so, they came out with the um, uh, kind of updated core rule book of it, and so it's got a different cover, it's got some additional stuff inside of it. I don't disagree that the content in it is worth having, okay, um, and that's all fine. However, uh, I actually like the format of this book better. Uh, I like the way that the pages are laid out better in this than I do the updated version. And so if I'm, if I bring both to a game when I'm running this game, um, but I always go for this one. So for whatever that's worth, you just don't go wrong with this. This is such a great game and you can really play any kind of science fiction game with this and you can just have a lot of fun. So uh, strongly encourage you guys to check this one out. It's just, it is really, really good. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with this one, uh, but I just, I, I think that the layout in this one is is just far superior. Uh, I just think it's even better to look at uh, the colors and the fonts that they use. I like it better in this one, okay? So if I'm doing science fiction, that's my go-to. Um, now, if I'm doing horror, okay, um, Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> it's awesome. This this game is just so much fun. I've owned other versions of uh, Call of Cthulhu as well as other, um, you know, H.P. Lovecraft mythos games. Um, I actually have several others here on my shelf, like uh, The Trail of Cthulhu. That's a really good light game, um, but it doesn't make the list on ones that I would want to play over and over again. But if, you, if, if you're getting someone new into a hobby of tabletop gaming and you want something super light and easy and just that doesn't require a lot of rules or mechanics trail of cthulhu is a really great one to get for a horror uh, one shot you know that kind of thing um but for you know for what it's worth this game is fantastic and this is the newest edition of the game and it is the best edition that i've ever played and, and i just absolutely love it it is a little bit on the thick side for me I'm, I'm not a huge fan of overly sized uh game books but this one just does uh its game so well i'm such a big fan of it and i love the artwork and the layout of this book better than I did the previous edition. Um, and so uh, for what it's worth, I just, this is a game you every gamer should own and play, um, in my opinion, because it's just, it does horror so well. Call of Cthulhu, you can't go wrong there. Another one that I really like for horror is going to be Vampire the Masquerade. Now this is what's uh, commonly called the revised edition. Um, most of the books that I have on my shelf come from the revised edition um, Vampire the Masquerade. Um, this was popular when I was a teenager and it's what I just, I fell in love with. I think the artwork in this is just amazingly great. Um, the way that the book is laid out is a little bit, it, it's kind of eh. Um, I mean, you, it takes a little bit. You have to kind of uh, really look for things because not all the rules are all in the same spot. You have to kind of flip through it. So layout isn't great, but just the, the fun you can have, uh, the depth of characters you can build. Um, this game is fantastic. Uh, I hate the newest edition of Vampire the Masquerade. I loathe it. Um, and I could do a whole video talking about all the ways that it sucks. Um, so screw that. Do not go that route. Get a copy of this if you can. Now, a couple years ago, they came out with something called the 20th Anniversary Edition. And this is a great game to get. And you should get it. You can get it. I used to be able to get it on DriveThruRPG.com. I don't know if you still can. This game is fantastic. It is pretty much the exact same edition as this. Okay, however, uh, they did do some rule clarifications on a couple things. They made some of the disciplines and powers work a little differently to just kind of clean them up a bit. Um, I'm not opposed to that. I don't, I don't think this game does anything worse per se. 
it is a lot thicker, okay? It's a lot bigger of a book than the original was. So I, again, I'm not a huge fan of that. However, the benefit of this is that it has taken all of the bloodlines, all of the additional disciplines and all the powers that you got throughout years of splat books, and it has boiled it all down and put it all into one book. So you don't need to buy a bunch of different books. You can just buy this one book and it's got everything you could ever need to play Vampire the Masquerade. Now, if you want to do Middle Ages or Dark Ages for Vampire the Masquerade, then you can pick up the uh, Dark Ages Vampire book. This game does uh, uh, medieval fantasy in a dark, grim setting very well. Um, uh, one of the things that we used to love to do in my own group was that we would make characters as humans in the Dark Ages. They would get turned into vampires, and so then we would convert them to vampires using this. Um, and then uh, we would bring them forward in time into the modern nights. And so you could play an elder campaign in the, the modern times. Um, but, you know, you play out your, your you know, fledgling and neonate, um, you know, periods of, of unlife uh, in the dark ages. So, you'd, you know, you get the swashbuckling or you get, you know, knights in armor and, you know, and things like that. This is a really good game. And again, if you want the newest edition that's got all the addition, additional uh, rules and, um, and different powers, you can pick up the Dark Age Compendium. Again, say, it works the same way. It's got everything from all the splat books from the Dark Age splat books, but just all in one book. Again, they're big, they're heavy. I'm not a big fan of that as a general rule, but when you when you think about it as putting 10 years worth of additional content into a book or something close to that, um, these things are worth having. Um, again, if, if, um, if I'm just gonna pick up a book to use, I'm gonna use the original, um, but there, there are some rule clarifications in the, the newer editions. And again, you just have all that extra material where you don't have to have a bunch of books thrown across the table to play the game. So again, if you play, if you like Dark Ages, this is a fantastic game to get to. Uh, but those are my go-to for horror uh, slash, uh, you know, intrigue and suspense. Uh, I just don't think it gets better than that. Now, if I'm playing fantasy, uh, there's several different games that me and my group play on a regular basis uh, in the fantasy genre. The first that I'll bring up here is a game called Exalted. It's a This is the second edition book, and it is my favorite. I do not like the third edition. Uh, and the first edition was good too, but the first edition had some, some kind of quirkiness to it that they really kind of worked out in the second edition here. I think this is where Exalted, it just hits its stride and does really great, is second edition. Uh, now, the problem with this book is that you do need a lot of the additional books if you want to dive deep into the lore. There is a lot of lore. There's a lot of additional content and they have a ton of books out there that you have to get if you want to pick that up. Um, and so it's a little bit heavy on like having a lot of books. Uh, it's a it's a big buy-in. Uh, but this game does anime fantasy and it does it extremely well. And it just does it really, really good. It's a lot of fun. So for when I'm playing anime fantasy kind of thing, this is my go-to and it does it extremely well. It's just so much fun and you just have the time of your life. This game is really cool because you're kind of like playing superheroes in, um, in a fantasy setting. I mean, you're playing demigods. So you you have these powers you can take on like huge groups if not armies um, and you can just do crazy fun things with this where you really are a hero um, and it's all flavored like a, an anime and so it just makes this extremely fun so check that out if you've never played it before it is it is a, it is a blast now my next one is uh, DCC now I the only book here I'm showing is the uh, quick start uh, I own the regular book. I've, I've talked about it in, a, in another video, uh, but this is all you need to play the game. Um, it, it's fun to have, I guess, additional content and the core book uh, will do that, but all you need to get started is this. You don't, you don't need a lot. It's easy, it's fun. The best part about DCC is that character creation funnel. Uh, I know a lot of people have kind of gotten into this habit nowadays where they're like, well, just skip the funnel and just just use the rules. No, that you're missing the whole point. Uh, part of the fun of DCC, what makes it really unique and cool is they have this funnel that you play with and where you make four characters all at once that are all like level zero. These are just nobody peasants. Um, they have no, they have nothing uh, really going for them. Them. They barely have any kind of equipment, and you you know you get a whole table of people doing this, so you end up with like sending this huge group of you know 15, 20 people into a dungeon, and then the few people that that make it out alive, those become your level one characters. And so what you're doing is the first session of DCC is you're playing out 
um, basically your backstory. Um, and it's just, it's so much fun. It's so cool. Uh, so if you've never played this game before, you really need to. It's just, this does uh, fantasy uh, dungeon crawling just so well. Um, it is one of my favorites. Um, but you don't you don't even need the big book. And the big book is mostly, the reason why it's so big is because there's a lot of tables, there's a lot of charts, there's a lot of things in there that you don't even really necessarily even have to use. Uh, but the rules are simple, they're straightforward, and it's just a lot of fun. Okay, um, my favorite fantasy game, if I'm, if I'm going my favorite, then it's going to be the Fantasy Trip. Um, this is uh, the core rule book here that's uh, got all kinds of great additional content in it. Um, this, this is a, such a fantastic game. This was the very first tabletop role-playing game that I started playing, but we didn't have anything this fancy. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you got the Legacy Edition when it was released a couple years ago, uh, it actually came with the original rules, and here they are. And this just, this really brings me back, guys. Uh, you've got Melee, and you've got Wizard, and these are the rules. This is all you need to play the game. And this is all we had for years. This is all we had to go on when I was like, you know, 12, 11 years old, getting into tabletop gaming. This is what we had. And you'd make a character on an index card and you can make a character in 60 seconds or less. But look, I mean, just guys, look, look how small these books are. I mean, it's so great. This game works fantastic. And this is all you still need to play the game. Even today, this would be all you would need. And you can make a character and you can have so much fun. Um, it is so cool. But the actual book gives you so much more and you can really make great in-depth characters. The magic system in this game is fantastic. The combat system is great. Um, it's just so good. Um, and in, in my opinion, um, I think this game blows D&D out of the water every edition. It doesn't matter what edition you're talking about. This game does fantasy uh, better than D&D could ever hope to. And it's a real shame that this game didn't become as popular as D&D because um, we'd be looking at a much different world today if the fantasy trip would have got more love. And there are plenty of people that enjoy it, uh, but it's just, guys, this game, if you've never played it before, you owe it to yourself to play the Fantasy Trip. It is just so much fun, and uh, the, the the wild, fun times you have playing this game is just, it's just great. It really is. Um, but characters, I mean, life is cheap in this game. Um, you know, it, it, you can you can die in any fight. Even a even a well experienced character is just one or two strikes away from death. And so it's gritty. It's just it's a lot of fun, um, and it's not a really complicated. Again, you can make a character in the fantasy trip in sixty seconds or less on an index card. So it's just so simple. It's easy to get into. It's easy and fun to play. Um, strongly recommend you guys try that out. Um, so that, that is it guys. Those are my favorite tabletop role-playing games. I mean, obviously there's more on my shelf than that. Uh, but the other games just don't make the cut. They're not games that I would say are my top. Um, and then there are plenty of other games that I enjoy playing. Uh, but these are my favorite tabletop role-playing games. Uh, so if, if there's ever a choice that, uh, where Matt gets to make the decision on what we're playing, it's going to be one of those, or it's going to be Xenoplicity, because again, this game is fantastic as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Let me know what you think below in the comments. Thanks. Bye.